In a jungle lived a lion named Charles. Charles the lion had become quite old. He had only one son. His name was Edward the lion. Edward was a lazy, useless and a foolish lion. One day, Charles the lion told his son, "Now I am very old. I am living my last days." Sometimes I am very much worried about you. What's there to worry about, father? After you I will become the king of this jungle. I know that what I am worried about. Still you doesn't know how to hunt for your food. I am a lion, father. What's the need to go for a hunt? So many other animals are doing hunting. I will take a share of their food and will live my life. Idiot! I am damn sure when you will become the king of this jungle, the jungle will destroy. Why you are telling such things? I am saying the right words. The truth is, as a lion, you are a shame. In my lifetime, I have never seen such type of lion. Please get away from here, or else, or else I will kill you. Go. After some time Charles the lion died and Edward the lion became the king of the jungle after he became the king he called all the animals of the jungle for a meeting please listen to my words carefully you all know that i am a sleepy fellow i am your king whomsoever you are hunting down from now half of the portion should reach to my cave having said this He went into his cave. All the animals were very angry and came away from there. And this became a regular practice after that day. After some days, two leopards fighting between themselves reached Edward the lion with a piece of meat in their mouth. Oh Lord, with very much difficulty, I hunted one bara singa, but he took my prey from me. No, my Lord, he is telling lies. I didn't theft anything. Instead, this meat belongs to me. I hunted this animal. Oh Lord, please do justice. <sighs> you guys woke me up. You can leave this portion and you can go. Now this meat belongs to me, and this is my justice. Tell me, did you like it or not? Hearing what Edward the lion had to say, both the leopards were very angry. and making a sulking face came out from the cave it would have been better if we would have shared this portion together you are right he is a thief than a king i was thinking that he is only lazy but no he is also a stupid lion this is how time passed one day clero the fox in an angry mood told her husband How many days will we go on like this? What are you trying to say? That we will be hunting and half of our hard work will be going to the lion. I am telling you, I will not be giving my share to the lion. Don't tell such things. He is king of this jungle. If he gets to know all these things, then surely he will kill us. What can he do? He is so tired to even come out of his own cave. He is a blemish in the name of a lion. If you want to give your share, you can go ahead. I'm not going to do so. Jack the elephant was listening very keenly to Clero and her husband. Jack the elephant was an advisor to Charles the lion. Jack the elephant went to the cave, met Edward and said, "These things are not good, my lord. If this thing will continue, then this animal will stop fearing you." Listen. You were consultant to my father, not to me. So don't try to advise me. Get out from here. I am feeling sleepy. Oh Lord, don't forget that you are a lion. Lion will hunt for themselves. They will not depend on others' leftovers. Get out from here immediately. Oh Lord, please listen to me. If you will be like this, then I can see the future. Even the small mouse will be misbehaving with you. All the lions will be shame of you. What do you want? 
आई वॉन्ट डेट प्लीज बिहेव लाइक ए लायन प्लीज ड्रॉप योर लेजीनेस और अदर लायन विल टेक ओवर ऑफ दिस जंगल That's good for me. I will go for a treaty. Then I will live my life peacefully. I will be getting free foods. Jack the elephant was very angry and came out of the cave. After some days, the fear of Edward was over. None of the animals gave their share to the king. Out of hunger, Edward the lion was forced to come out of his cave. At that moment a hyena was eating his share of the hunt and then Edward the lion came there Hey hyena haven't you heard my orders why didn't you share your portion to my cave My mistake my lord from now I will share Now go from here your punishment is that I will take the entire meat Edward the lion took away the piece of flesh and went away He is not feeling shame while taking my share. Some day I will attack him in his sleep and I will kill him. Then all the animals will be happy. Stupid fellow. Edward the lion was talking to himself while going away with a piece of meat. Hmm, I will enjoy this meat near to the pond. I have to take some water after the food. Because of this laziness I have to stay thirsty for so many days. Edward the lion was just about to eat the piece of meat sitting by the river but then the piece of the deer's flesh slipped into the river Oh my god what i did a piece of meat went into this pond after so many difficulties i got this now i will die with hunger Edward the lion had hardly said this when the water in the lake started bubbling and in a moment hot vapor started rising from the waters out of that vapor came a beautiful girl and said to edward how did you dare to throw a piece of flesh into my waters do you know with whom you are talking i am edward king of this jungle please forgive me the king of the jungle i did not see you i thought it was an ordinary creature but who are you i am the owner of this magical lake and the lake falls into your territory so in this way you are my king also then follow the order of your king return my meat pieces i am hungry now that is not possible any more oh my king instead of the piece of flesh whatever else you may ask i will give it to you hearing the beautiful woman edward the lion got angry and said idiot do you know After so many difficulties I took this from Haina. It's already evening and I am dying with hunger. Hearing what Edward the lion had to say, the beautiful woman started looking at Edward with a surprise. Are you able to provide me whatsoever I will wish for? Yes, why not? I am the magical owner of this lake. Then listen. I always dreamt of that I will be having a big brother who will be taking care of this jungle and being a king I will be taking rests and without any hunting I can enjoy my meat There's always only one king in the jungle if you had a brother he would not have let you live but as you wish it is my responsibility to fulfill your wish The magical woman had just said this then from inside the lake one more lion like a bird came out of the waters with a roar and the magical woman disappeared from there edward looked at the lion and said you are my small brother and i am your king go hunt some animal for me and bring food for us are you out of your mind i will be the king of this jungle saying this that lion killed edward the lion and after that day that lion became the king of the jungle and all the other animals heaved a sigh of relief <laughs> <laughs>